yikes. You may be wondering how I got here. Bruh. Stay tuned to see. Hi guys, welcome to Rewiring Lanita. My name's Lanita and guess what? You're on my YouTube channel, okay? This YouTube channel is inspired by the mental health journey I've been on. I am using this cello that I purchased in quarantine to help rewire my brain from PTSD, anxiety, and depression. And honestly, I'm just here to see how far I get in relearning this string instrument that I used to love so dearly. So thank you guys for joining. Before we get into it, if you could subscribe. Yep, tap it tap it okay subscribe to my channel and if you want if you have social media I am on it as well so you can follow me on my socials I'm on Instagram and Twitter and I'm a millennial but I'm like on the old side so like that's all I got I'm not on TikTok yet because I can't do the the I'm a savage no okay anyway let's get into it okay so today what are we doing? Okay, so for today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I practice. I'm still really new and I haven't even gotten to the bow yet, but you know what I said last week. The bow is coming in two lessons. So uh, I'm just gonna share how I practice, kind of how I feel when I practice and let you guys see it's not all sweet for me nor my neighbor's ears over here. So let's get into it. So when I take my cello out, I, of course, I tune it. Um, I have this really cool app called the Cello Tuner, and so I play around with it. I go through, make sure everything's tuned. Um, for those of you guys who are not into basics, um, it just pretty much means you're making sure all the notes sound like they're supposed to. And then for those of you guys who do play instruments, especially string instruments, um, you're playing around with the fine tuners at the bottom of your of your string instrument and then the pegs. And so that at first was really overwhelming, but I'm through it, I got it. And then right now, because I'm not playing with my bow, I don't have to get my bow or my rosin out. I'll bring that out in a couple um, videos when hopefully I'm out here bowing my way to the top. Um, but I have a couple of books for homework. Um, I have this one. Fun fact, I used this in middle school, this book. And so she gives me a couple of exercises a week and so I play and so, I have taught myself all of the open strings and then four notes on each of the strings A and D and so I'll go through that but right now I have a couple of exercises. They're sounding really wonky so I'm excited to show you how I start um, when I haven't played since a couple days ago and then hopefully after an hour, an hour and a half of practice what it sounds like after. So let's hear it. No practice in a couple of days. Like I said in my first video, my hardest part is my cello posture. Making sure your, your fingers stay curved. They're supposed to stay a nice C, and I'll be having trouble, y'all. I really do. So, let's see. Hold on. <laughs> let's try again. not the best so give me an hour which to you guys will be like one second I'm gonna practice I'm gonna come back and let's see if we can fix some of the the shifting between if you'll see the the shift between like this to the other string it's all in your arm so I gotta work on that give me a couple of hours and I'll be back go get a drink Preferably alcoholic if you're 21 and up. Anyway, bye. <laughs> I'm back, guys. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I got something. I think I got something. Let's see. So the hardest part for me is shifting between an open string, D to E to G. You see how, <laughs> listen, hard. And you have to have short nails, which I'm not used to. So let's see. This is called Natalie's Rose. because I have a cello lesson tomorrow and I wanna be able to move on to the bow for you guys. But like always, I wanna end it with something that just hopefully is a tip to get you through the week or whatever you've been dealing with. I know we're in a time right now of activism and a couple of weeks ago it was heavy protesting and we're always on social media and we're always doing, 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 doing. It's a lot, okay? That doesn't mean that there is not a world to save and that there isn't things going around all us all the time, but we can't do for others. And so we what? What lucky to do for ourselves, okay? So this week, I hope you guys get some rest. Last week my message was control what you can control and find joy in something, but I want you to rest, you know? I want you to kick back at the computer, throw the phone, okay? Do something for yourself, whether it's take a nap, do a face mask, play an instrument, take a hike, walk your dog, drink. I can't advocate for you to do anything else, but do something that makes you feel rested because there's always gonna be stuff going on in the world and there's always gonna be some social justice issue that we didn't cause for ourselves, okay? Especially people of color, we ain't cause it. And I know we wanna fix it, but we also gotta rest too, okay? So get some rest. I hope you guys find something fun to do with whatever day in the week you are, but just know I'm so happy you guys are on this journey with me. Please, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Subscribe to my channel, tell all your friends, and follow me on my socials. Um, I'm trying to stay more active, but I'm honestly super excited to just be playing cello and doing something I love. So the fact that you are even here with me makes me so happy. So thanks guys, and I'm very excited you are. Bye.